What is going on guys? I'm the White Guy and today we've got another MX versus ATV Supercross Encore video. It's going to be a bit different today. Um, we're checking out the James Stewart compound in this game because I, I, I just realized that it's it's a thing. And I was like, oh, you know what? Let, let's give it a chance. Maybe, just maybe, the compound, this, this track isn't like all the other free ride tracks where it's completely broken and not playable. And, um... Surprisingly enough, it, it is still mildly broken because this only runs at like 30 frames a second. I mean, 37, 40, or is it 30 or 40 frames a second, which I guess is, um, not, that doesn't feel great. Doesn't, 30, 30, 42 frames a second doesn't feel great. I'm not really happy with it, but, um, I, it's, it's, it's not, like, it's not going to be, it's not super enjoyable having, um, Coming from PC where I've been apparently spoiled by by being able to play every other game at 60 frames a second and have it be buttery smooth, I am now having it, it's like running at 30 or 40 frames on PC right now, which is kind of, um, it's, I guess it's faster than consoles, because I'm pretty sure consoles run this game at like thir at 30 frames a second. I, I could be wrong, but I, I would, if I had to guess, I would say the consoles run this at 30. And uh, so I guess it's livable, and just to shake things up a bit, we're going to try and do some laps of the Stewart compound. We'll, we'll go check out the Supercross, and the Supercross tracks, and the Nationals one. The other thing that could be neat, I don't know how possible this is, but um, I, I've heard rumors of Supercross custom tracks possibly being a thing, but nobody cares to mess with them because there's just not enough interest in the game. Um, if anybody out there does know how to make Supercross Encore custom tracks on PC, and you, if you want to make one, and then like you know, hit me up. I, I may be willing to compensate you for that. Um, there, 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 there's a chance that that may be a thing. Um, but, um, I, I don't know how possible that is, but it, the other thing that could be neat is if it's possible to take Supercross Encore tracks and rip them over to MX versus ATV Reflex, you could get, like, the, the Quarry and the, the Devil's Playground and, like, this track, where if you could somehow port these over to Reflex, that'd be pretty neat, too. But, um, I, I, I don't know how possible that is. I've heard some rumors here and there about custom tracks being possible in this game, but nobody be caring to make them because there's just not enough interest, and I, I, I don't know how true that is, but if it is true and anybody out there happens to know how to make the custom tracks for this game, I, I may financially compensate you for said tracks, depending on how things go. Uh, I don't, don't, know the, don't know the whole story behind that, or what... I, I've only heard very whispered rumors about things, so I don't don't know how possible it is. I just think that could potentially be a neat thing. But anyway, for now, we'll try and do some laps around the compound. Uh, we're in the free ride mode because in the racing mode on this track, which uh, there is racing mode, um, you get lots of AI, which then just nerfs the game down even more than it already is. And before you try and say it's my um my hardware, I tested this with um hardware monitor open. For whatever reason, when I'm sitting at the main menu in the game, my CPU gets pinged at like 60% usage, and my graphics card, which is a GTX 780 WinForce, that gets pinged at like 78% usage at the main menu. Just sitting at the main menu for one reason or another, it's like using 60% of my CPU and like 70-80% of my GPU. Then once I load like a track like this and start wa I was watching it while I was playing a track like this, the graphics card, the CPU dropped down to like 22% usage, and the graphics card sits around like 48 to 50% usage when it's using when it's on a track like this. And at that point, I'm like, okay, if it's only using that, it's not using all of what I've got. Why am I not getting? Why is it not been using more of the hardware and then getting better frame rates? I don't know. It's like they just didn't even. They just still have not even remotely tried to optimize this game on PC at all since it came out. And when like when it's using very relatively low percentages of your hardware and you're still getting bad frame rates, it's like okay, there could be some optimization there to like actually use the hardware and then frame rates go up and then the game's playable because if, if they bothered to optimize this game for PC at all. So it actually used the hardware people had, and, and it ran smoothly. This would be, a, I'd imagine, this would be an extremely popular game on PC if it actually ran well and they used all the people's hardware to run tracks at good frame rates. But given that they, this is more or less just like really crappy console port, I'm not really, not too surprised by that. But um, that 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 whole, we're gonna end that rant aside, and we'll just try, we'll try and enjoy this, the the game for what it is here. Enjoy the Stuart compound for what it is. We'll go for a couple of extra laps here. We're gonna come around. There should be a nice tabletop here, and I will say, for what the game is, the, the combo here is decently well made. It's a lot of fun. We'll try and do a 360 over the tabletop, which we of course can land at very weird angles because this game's like even the freestyle scoring in this game. Like you're gonna point this out here. Just watch this. 
Oh, never mind. Okay, so now now it starts working. After I after I point. Oh, nope, everything's just gonna say 218, regardless of what you do. Now that'll probably change it. Now it's just 330. Like the scoring system in this game is just broken. Like if I try and do backflips, it'll say 330 total, and then it changes to 860. It's just like there, there's a lot of bugs in this, and like the faders didn't even try and fix a lot of the stuff, which is kind of unfortunate. Also, want to point out you can't actually land jumps no-handed anymore. Like. Uh, in every other MX versus ATV game, you can do a no-hander and then ride it out no-handed, as I've done in Reflex many times. If you've been around my channel for any amount of time, you may know that. In this game, for whatever reason, you can't do tricks no-handed. They changed that. They also took 360s out of the game, which I don't know why I wish they'd put those back in, because they're, they're fun to mess with and let you rotate the bike in interesting ways. But, um, yeah, at least the scrubs in this do seem to work out decently well. And they did take 360s out, but you can still sort of do them by yourself like that. Because if you, if you pop off the ramp just the right way, you actually have a pretty large degree of freedom to rotate the bike around. Which, I, at least, that's kind of neat. But, like, for what this game is, though, if it ran well, it'd be very popular and be a lot of fun. But it just doesn't run well, so it, it's not a ton of fun. But, but the compound here, at least, like, I can sort of, after a while, if I... If I try hard enough, I can start to ignore the frame rate issues and have a little bit of fun with the little Stewart compound here. And it's a fun little track to ride around because just this track is it's just a different type of track. It's really cool and very unique compared to anything else out there as we just completely shoot off the side of the track there. Let's try and get back into the rhythm here. Ooh, we scrubbed that way too low, so... But luckily, since you scrub too low, you can just preload everything off to the moon to get yourself back in line. And I think we're going to need a little bit of preload coming up. Nope, never mind, we did not need any on that, but we're going to need some on this for sure. And we're probably going to need a lot on this, but uh, no, we're not going to get the 360 in there, so we'll just put that back down. And dump the clutch over, tire tap, full preload over, and no worry whatsoever. A little bit of preload scrub, and I'll try and do that 360 thing off of this if we can. There we go. Like, they took 360s out of the game, but you can still sort of spin them by yourself if you, if you come off the jump and slide off the jump just the right way. You can do 360s pretty easily yourself. So at least I did keep the thing reflex at where you can still, like, you can lean the bike at any angle and not just get knocked off the bike if you go upside down on it without doing a backflip, which is kind of neat. So you can sort of do 360s barrel roll type things on your own and just land everything to flat. And again, the, like, the scoring system just seems like it's kind of broken. Oh, there we go. That sort of made that one happen. Let's hop over to the clay supercross track now where we'll just dump the clutch, get ourselves moving. And we're on the uh, Honda 450, Suzuki 4, we're on some sort of a 450. I don't remember exactly which one, but we are on a 450 of some sort. You can bust out a double backflip to upside down lander right there because physics are the best. Preload through the whoops for extra speed, of course. And scrub, no we should not have tried to scrub that, but we can just preload ourselves back into a rhythm line, of course, and make anything we want to work. And we can try and do that weird 360 thing over the finish line. Yep, there you go, we just have to scrub off the line at just the right angle and you can make it work. This, this is at least a fun track that would come on the free ride and just try and do laps on it, at least. It, it, I'm starting to enjoy this now. It's, it's It'd be neat if this worked better and the multiplayer lobbies were set up better so you could actually do multiplayer races, but, um... Yeah, at least on this track, the whole skating on ice thing seems to be less prevalent than on Supercross tracks where the turns are a lot tighter. And so far, this is actually one of the very, very few Nationals tracks you can ride in the game that actually does run at, like, a decent frame rate. So all the other Nationals tracks are just not even playable at all. But at least this one does sort of run at an okay-ish. I'm not saying it's not okay. It's not okay-ish. Um, scratch that off. It runs at a frame rate where it's possible to play. It's not okay, but it's possible to play it, and that's why at least I enjoy it now that I'm playing it more, because it's like, oh... At least it's a Nationals track you can actually ride, because the other ones are at like 10 frames a second, and it's seemingly regardless of hardware, it's just not even possible to do. But this one seems to run decently well. And now that we've done a couple laps there, let's try and pop over to the other Supercross track if we can, as we hit a preload line, and another preload line, and another preload line off the track. Uh, cut through the tough blocks, and let's just pop into the middle of the rhythm section right here and see how well we can make that work. We'll hey, there's a new line right there. We just found a new line. How about that? And we'll try and scrub the double. 
sort of made that work. Just ice skate our way around the side, and let's drift our way through the next corner, because you can, and then you can just clutch pop, preload yourself out of pretty much anything, and make any line happen, regardless of what you're doing. Uh, these are all raceable, and there's also a nighttime version of this track, too, which we could pop on just to see what that's like, but, um... Yeah, I think it could be neat just to try and switch up with Supercross Encore to keep some different types of content on the channel. Let me know what you guys think, because this is still an MX versus ATV game. Though granted it's not Reflex, but uh, the graphics are a little bit better. And it, it's the next game in the series. Ooh, look at that. We didn't even get the backflip trick in, but we still sort of did a backflip, which is like, yeah, if you, if you preload and you pop back, you can still do backflips reasonably easily and land them upside down like we just did. So that's nice. Alright, uh, we'll do one more lap here and then we'll pop onto the nighttime version of the track. Can we, no, we're not going to get the double backflip. Oh, wanted to double backflip that so bad. Dang it. Alright, might be able to get it here. Yeah, there we go. Just double backflip the small doubles very, very casually in this game because that's how, uh, that's how Supercross works. Alright. Get ourselves through. Yep, we can just preload over everything. Let's pop over to the nighttime version of the track now, if we can. Wait for the load screen. All right, so single race. Go to free ride and then scroll down. J7 night. Here we go. If it uh, decides it wants to finish loading here. There we go. And should let us take off. Right, I'm not going to do a full lap since this video is starting to get kind of long, but just so you guys get an idea of what the, the nighttime track is like in case you haven't already seen this on other channels. And because, uh, I don't know, I just feel like it's, um, if nothing else, you've probably already seen this on other places, but at least this brings a little bit more variety to my channel to switch things up so it's not just straight reflex all day every day. Although reflex will be coming back. I'm trying to start doing, um, uh, during the week, I want to try and do stuff that's not just straight reflex custom tracks, and on the weekends, I want to try and do reflex custom track uploads every weekend if I can. Uh, whether or not they're new tracks, I'll do some form of reflex custom track video on the weekends if I can, and then trying to do other stuff, be it like within reflex still, or stuff like Supercross Encore, other stuff during the week to try and switch it up a little bit. And I knew we could backflip that little thing right there, it's not even really a jump. And can we backflip this? I bet so. Yes, we can, because you can just backflip everything in Supercross Encore, because it's just that's how the game works. Backflip that? Yes, we can. And you can literally backflip a singular whoop in this game. I've done that before. You might be able to backflip this even, I wonder. Alright, here, we'll get it. I bet we can backflip this thing. Hold on, we got it. we're gonna have to time this just right and find the right angle here, but I bet, I bet we can backflip this. There we go. Knew, we, knew that was possible. I, see, I told you. But we can backflip this. There, there is nothing you cannot backflip in this game if you set your mind to it hard enough. Other than, you can't do a standing backflip on flat ground, but you can probably backflip that if we hit this just right. Oh, we might have to hit this on the other side. Here we go. I bet, I bet this is possible. Let's find out. Yeah. I'm going to rest my case with that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing the Stewart compound here in this game. If you have any other things in Supercross Encore you want to see, let me know and I can try and do that to bring more variety to the channel. That's about all I've got for today, though. Hopefully you enjoyed this slightly longer video than normal. Let me know if you guys enjoy this type of stuff. Uh, maybe wait, can we launch ourselves up to the roof there? Hmm. I'm going to have to try this now before we end the video. Must know if it works. Alright. And right. Oh, nope, we hit a bad bump. Bad bump. Alright, never mind. We're done for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.